she was a great boy. At first, she thought the world was okay at first, but then she started to grow up and see reality, and she saw she thought there were many problems, and she thought someone should stand up for it. So she made a poem called Still Our Eyes for Peace and Justice to make people notice that there was a problem going on. My Angela also wrote a poem called Phenomenal Woman. Phenomenal Woman is about how powerful a woman can be. Us seven and young independent women came together to do a show about how we can make the world a better place. And show our community how much we care about Black Lives Matter. The poem also talked about the struggles of being a black woman. The poem inspired us to do this show to express how we feel on police. You might be wondering who exactly these young women are. Well, my name is Ice Tudiala, and I want to be a journalist. I want to experience all the things happening all around the world, and I want to be able to share my experiences with people all around the world. Hi, my name is Sierra, and I'm 12 years old, and my big dream is really to become a writer, a journalist, or a singer, as I matter of fact, because I want to travel the world. I want to travel the world. If I if I can make a difference. Hi, my name is Mickey, and in the future I would like I in the future I would like to go to Harvard University and become a pediatrician to help sick children. Hi, my name is Sierra. I'm 12 years old, and my what I want to do in the future is become an artist because I can express my I can express my writing and my fiction. My name is Rashana Sinclair, I'm 12 years old, and I would like to become an actress because I would like to act in movies about black lives so it can show the world how much talent I have and how much I learned from each other as a student, and also I would like to go through the boys and girls. Hi, my name is Sophia, and when I grow up, I want to become a business lawyer or a dancer, and I want to um, make the world a better place so that kids, when kids grow up, my name is Monique Felix. I am 12 years old. And in this world, there's a lot of trouble, problems, and just brutality everywhere. When I grow up, I want to be a poet, just like my Angelo. Show the world what I'm made of, what I can do, what I can show this world, how us as women, black women, black people can do with our lives. Can change the world. Okay, Launch is an expedition you're going to charter school that focuses on six habits. Up here, you can see that we focus on craftsmanship, which shows that we can be creative and very artistic. We always strive towards the high possible quality when it comes to our, to our work. Wonder. We show wonder by showing how much we care and by doing research to prove things right. And finding interesting facts about the world. We also are very curious. That also shows. We also use compassion. Compassion helps us to be mindful of others, care about other people's feelings. That's what also influences us as Black independents to do this show. This shows that we not only believe in getting the perfect work and doing everything correctly, we also believe in helping others with it and showing compassion and kindness towards them and changing the world. Mindfulness. Mindfulness helps us to be in the moment and not be in another world. It helps us to show Miss Holder how much we can be engaged in how much she can do. And better the generation <laughs> and the world. We also value thinking very much and it's always important to have new ideas. And when you show mindfulness, it's a better way to experience and to communicate with ideas. Accountability. Accountability helps us with ownership. Like, there's a lot of stuff happening at school. So we have a habit report that goes from to our parents every week that shows them our behavior during the week. And we have to take accountability for our actions over the course of the week. We also consider what our action does, not only to ourselves, but to others around us. It also can affect how we think in class and affect how we do in our grades. Perseverance. Perseverance helps us with the show Still Alive. Why? Because we had to persevere. We had a lot of us had, had doing practice, but we made it. Our show was phenomenal. Everyone loved it. People talked about it after the show. And we definitely 
persevered because no matter what, we went through the show and we definitely deserve it. And between you and me, I am scared to go up on stage. I was over with my pants, but I persevered through this amazing moment and I'm happy I did. And we also encourage everyone else to persevere and fake the fear. And stand up to what's right. And do you the same the world? So we did it, right? I know I can be where I want to be. If I work hard at it, I'll be where I want to be. So you all got to be in this where room. Where we want to be. Mm -hmm. And you got to be in this room, right? Yeah. To, pro to, to, to perform about power. power. And we only got to where we wanted to be by your roles were, um, what exactly was your contribution to the Still I Rise poems for me and Okay. Well, my contribution was definitely to, I, you talk about your piece a little the bit. Show, the show was not, I considered it not only for everyone else to see, but also for myself, because the more I performed about it, the more I felt like I was experiencing it, and I could compare it to the other things I've experienced. And based on my feelings on that, I could find the perfect way to show our community and our society exactly how the people who are going through it felt and exactly what we can do to help it. I also thought the performances were really fun. My performance, my, like, my experience with the show was like very interesting because before I came to launch, I never, I never actually focused on Black Lives Matter because I never really understand what it actually means. But when I did the show, it gave me courage to look up on the internet about Black Lives Matter. I still do today. I found out what the meaning of certain things are, and I come to school and I show it to Miss Holder. And she's so proud of me that I'm able to look through the internet to find good things, and not only bad things. Mm -hmm. So can you all, um, okay, go. Oh, my experience with the show, well, it was really fun. Like, I can say, um, we did different things that helped us express um, our feelings. The Tota got us to write poems about what we felt, about the police, stopping the friends, like bullying in school, and it helped us um, share with the community how we felt about it. And maybe we probably inspired other people to do the same. Mm -hmm. Sierra, can you talk specifically about, about bullying and, 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 and what your contribution was about how to, how to, how to continue to persevere even though you're being bullied? When you're bullied, you don't really think of what other people think because you just think that they don't hate you. When I did my performance, I felt that I had someone to support me because I've been bullied throughout my life. And when I fit my feelings into this poem, I thought I was talking to the person. So when, when I did the performance, I really thought about what I can say to the community about bullying and bullying something that shouldn't be done. Can okay, you please just uh, quickly, for, for people who don't know your piece, to sing the chorus? There's nothing wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with me. But perhaps there's something wrong with you. I made this part because everybody, everybody judged before they get to know them. Because when you see somebody that, you know, acts all weird and stuff, you'll say, oh, there's something wrong with them. They're not a problem. But when you get to know them, there's nothing wrong with them. They're, they have a unique touch. Something very unique you might not know. So don't judge before you say everyone's Bully. Bully think that there's something wrong with you, but actually, there's something actually wrong with them. They're only bullying you because they're lack of something that you have. And they're trying to bully you to make you think that you're nothing in life. But actually, they think that you're better than them. So 
or some some of them just bully you to make them feel better. To make themselves feel better. Yeah, but when you bully somebody, it doesn't make you feel better. It actually makes you get worse. And it makes you become a horrible person. And you're not gonna be something good in life because you're gonna continue bullying people and it's not making the right path for you in life. Mm -hmm. And and so, it's gonna come after you. And so Maya Angelou would say, still I rise. So can somebody else please tell me what their poem specifically was about, or maybe even the that's okay, or even the dance, um, some of the dances that we did, Batia? Um, I was in, I was my role was uh, dance dancing, and I was dancing to see you again, and um, when I was dancing, um, I felt like that I know I haven't seen this person for a long time. Who was this? It was like, it was the closest friend to me that had been there for me when I was a little kid and I haven't seen them for a long time. And it made me feel some type of way that I expressed it by doing my favorite thing, which is dancing. And um, I got to show other, I got to show other people like what I'm capable of in dancing. Mm -hmm. I would also like to add that about the bullying, in the show, after the show, um, a teacher came to me and she wanted to speak to Sierra, but instead she came to me and she talked to me about how she used to get bullied. And Sierra's poem was a really good way for her to relate with Sierra and relate to all the people who are being bullied. And I had went to that teacher before and talked to her about my myself and me being bullied. And that was so it made me realize that it's also a way not only for Sierra to express her feelings, but for everyone else to realize what the true meaning and what is really going on when they're being bullied. And I think it might have helped a lot of people in the audience. Well, my role in Still I Rise, Home to Peace and Justice, um, I wrote a song with the help of Ice Two and Fatia, and we sung it. It was to the chorus the instrumental halo, and we wrote our own words that was talking about how the police treat blacks, how they see us, how they don't treat us fairly, how we don't get justice. And we also did a dance to um, They Don't Care About Us by Michael Jackson, saying how um, the police, they don't see us as equal and they don't really care how we feel or what we feel, if they kill us or anything like that. So it also expressed how black lives really matter. Adding on to what Nikki just said about the police brutality, stop me first. Like, it's not fair for us seeing other people being stopped for something that they didn't do. If it was a white person, not being racist or anything, like, if it was a white person walking down the street, sagging or something, with a hoodie on their head, they wouldn't be stopped. Us as black people, being stopped for something that we not doing. Us as black people going through so many pains in our lives that they think it's funny. It's not really funny. You do not know what's going on deep inside of our hearts or outside in our lives. Because you just want to stop us. Look at the Eric Bryan case. The police officer was white. He put him in a chokehold. He claimed that he was in a chokehold. The judge had to leave because the judge was white. It was like six months after since he got his freedom, and since he got his justice for his death, that shouldn't be true. Because if it was a black cop, that cop would have been indicted by now. That cop would have been lynched or something. But since it was a white cop, they didn't do nothing wrong. They just have him in jail right now. And I bet you like. Is the cop the cops not even in jail? Cops are not. They don't See, Richardo isn't. He's not in jail. And I bet in like two months from now, he will be free. He is going to be free. Why should he be free? Why should he? Why should he be free? We have a reason to be free as black people. We have a reason that he don't. He kills one of us for no reason. Why should he be free? Mm -hmm. this, really, this really relates to me because after learning about the whole Black Lives Matter situation, it really hurt me because, especially about the kid who was wearing a hoodie and had a toy gun, and because of this, he got shot so because right. of the people wearing a hoodie. And even yesterday, I wanted to leave my house. I had a black sweater on, and I put on my hoodie. But it was dark, and my mom was sending me to the store to quickly go buy something. And as soon as I put my hoodie on, I took it right off because I was afraid that something like that would happen to me. And 
innocent person because it happens to so many other innocent people. And that's what made it really relate to me. And deep down in my heart, it really hurt my feelings that I actually had to take my hoodie off, that I really felt the need to do that because it's irrelevant and it shouldn't be happening, but it is happening. So us as black, phenomenal women, like Lashawn said, are just trying to find a way to help the world, our community, realize about this and make it stop. Added on to what Ike too said, we sh the world should not make us feel like we don't belong. They should make us feel like we're equal. Also, um, in the in the um, Still I Rise poems for justice, I also wrote a poem that is kind of related to this picture. Um, it's called Point of View, saying how white policemen might see us. Like they might see but you know it's not just white policemen because the uh, the police officers well you know Freddie Gray happened after our show but but those those were black police officers right and and not all cops are bad right but but it, but, but but some some no not the majority right some cops are bad right but not all cops are bad right and it doesn't matter it doesn't mean that a white cop is bad and a black cop is good it could be that. A bad cop is a bad cop because some of the cops who let Freddie Gray bump around in the back of the car, what's called a rough ride, they were black, right? They looked like him and it still happens, okay? So it's not a matter of white, it's what's right. It's basically policemen because of stopping the Yes. So basically my poem is talking about how cops see us, mm -hmm. like just walking down the street. They might see us as a killer. Thug, um, what is it? Um, a thief, but really, we're not really doing anything. We just want to enjoy life and like be free. Because you can't, you can't have freedom if you don't have life. That's as you told us, that's, that's, that's right. That's why right. right. it's all about survival. Yeah. Now, okay, give me one second. So, in terms of point of view, so what were you saying? Their point of view, right? So, what were you saying about how they see you? What were you saying? Um, they see us as like negative things. They see us as like we don't belong. Mm -hmm. So they so they probably think we're a thug or a killer, or a thief, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. anything. Can you see that in that picture? Yeah. See how the um the cop has a picture of a thug, and then we see them as dangerous. They like a threat to our lives because just like Rashawn was talking about the Eric Gardner case, they're like a threat to our lives and they just kill us. And but still, I arrived. Okay. You, you wanted to weigh in. Mm -hmm. My cousin had this conversation with me every day because he said that it's like blacks are going against blacks, but we should be coming together as one. Mm -hmm. Why should we go against each other? When it was slavery back in this time, they tried to turn us against each other, but it's working now. We're not equal. We're fighting against each other. The Freddie Gray case, like what Nikki and Miss Holder were saying, black went against black to kill him. Sandra Black, she was in jail. She committed suicide. Committed suicide. How did she commit suicide? If she wanted to commit, if she wanted to commit suicide, she should have done it before she got into the If I was in her situation, I would kill myself long before they came to get me. Well, I don't think they allow weapons in jail. They don't allow weapons in jail. So how did she kill us? Exactly. So, we don't know. And they had no proof. And mm -hmm. I did my research. Mm -hmm. Me, my sister, and my brother sit down on the computer. That's the only time we get along. We sit down on the computer. And we do our research. Sandra Blatt died at 17. The next person died at 18. The same way. She was pregnant and in jail. The next person died at 19. It continued on for a while, but these cases never made you. Why? Because they never mentioned. Mm -hmm. So you have to do your research to find out the tiny bit of what's happening in this world today because they're trying to hide it from us. Mm -hmm. But no, you can't hide it from me. Mm -hmm. I do my research. Okay. I could do this for a living. Still, I I I thank you. So, so, so go. Sum up all what y'all said. I'll keep saying in this world. Okay, for my piece, I said my feeling was about me against the world. Oh, yes. For my for this poll, when I talk about how I felt, how we were seen. Like, we're not, we're not going to be a part of this game, this game we're living in. We're not going to be a part of it. What okay. game? What are you talking about? I mean, game of life. Game of life. Mm -hmm.
and all those visuals. What were, what was your role? Like I played the music. Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, like visuals, like put up like, yeah, Okay, you you were you, you you were in the booth with me, right? Yeah. You manned that computer, right? You cooking, <laughs> right? For all the sounds to make sure that the sound for 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 whichever poem, the nightmare poem, right? For, for, for they don't really care about us, you made sure all that music played as soon as they took their places. It was added, on, added, added on to what Sierra said, um, remember when we was in um, leadership in Mendo TV? Yeah, yeah. And she had played that video talking about um, how they actually feel, um, how the actual like the video they actually took when the um, Eric Garner case um, went, and also she, was, she played a video about a boy speaking um, I think it was like our age, 12, I think. Yeah. And he was speaking about um, how he wants to change the world and how he wants to. Um, he was talking about stopping first, basically. He was talking about how police treat us and he wants to um, go up and change the world. It was from, he was from Ferguson. So he was um, talking about, oh, we need more black policemen. Because, yeah. And he, and then like, the lady asked him why, why um, don't um, more black people sign up to be policemen. He said, why would we want to work for the enemy? Okay, um, <laughs> okay, so it was when the colon talked about bloody Sunday, I know to what they said. I wrote this poem called We Should Be Free. Mm -hmm. I talked about the president, I talked about everything, and then I came to school the next day and I showed it to Mr. Reed. He said, no, Mr. Reed, they don't know. Mr. Reed is the principal of the school. No, he's the director. He, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's, he's the executive director and the principal. He's the executive director and the principal. <laughs> 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 keep going, keep going. And I showed it to him the next day. He said my poem is so powerful. Like, he's standing in the hallway and he had me stand next to him as he read it. He read it so many times that he came to me telling me how I should enter this poem into a concept about Black Lives Matter. But I never, never actually considered it because I was so focused with the show, I didn't want to get involved in something else so I can be distracted. I wanted to focus on the show about Still Arise and how we can be a better place. Good. All right. Thank you so much, Rashana. Um, exciting. Yeah, yeah. Your poem was awesome. All your poems were awesome. You were awesome with the, um, the production end of things. Um, last question. What do you want to see happen this year for Still I Rise? Saying that Ms. Holder can actually do for the follow up again. What What do you want to see improve, or what are you, What are you excited about for this year? Okay. Um. What I want to see improve, or what I'm excited about this year, is that um more people like more people volunteer to be in the show. So, like they're into it. Like. We get more ideas and ideas to make it a better, better show, and that we can, and that we can, um, we can do, um, do the show in a place that people will come to us, like it's interesting to them, and that everybody in the world will be able to see it, not just people that we know. That so we can live stream it next year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. It's really okay. easy. Um, you can live stream on. You can live stream on what's called Periscope. And then people from all over the world um, can see. So people in Australia, people in Brazil, people in Diana, Trinidad, right, can, okay. can, can watch year, it like immediately. This year, what I want to improve on, I told this when we about this, but then she didn't have time to do it. I wanted to have flyers so that when I go home, I could pass it out, or I could pass it out on the bus so people could come. And also, what I'm excited about is that I learned so much over the summer when I was asked
The last life does not matter. We should just kill them. Oh, really? I was upset. Like, tears came out of my eyes. I was so upset. I was at the edge of my seat. Like, I wanted to find this boy and, like, do something to him. Because it's not even funny. Who oh, has the compassion in that? Yeah, you bully in the boy. <laughs>
feel our rise, help us express ourselves. And artists can help us express ourselves because you, we all listen to music. I know everyone listens to music. And we all know almost every word to at least 50 songs. More than 50 Maybe even more. All the songs that came out. Yeah, yeah. We, we know all the words. So we can make the songs relevant to current events like um, Black Lives Matter and stuff. Instead of talking about uh, cars, purses, women, and stuff like that. Just like in our um, in our Still Our Lives, Poems for Peace and Justice performance, we did make a song, like Sierra made a song about bullying, and Sierra, Rashana, and um, who else? Um, me, Ice Two, and Fatia, we did write a song to the instrumental Halo, talking about stop and frisk and police, which is also expressing your self about, um, <laughs> expressing yourself about what's going on in life through music and art. Okay, Sierra. Um, What's Sierra? Um, and then next Sierra. <laughs> and then Paula didn't need them. No, <laughs> this will be our wrap up. Yeah. Art. How can we express art? That's a question that I was going to ask. How can we can express art with music? Mm -hmm. Art, you can express it because the way that you state your feelings on a piece of paper, <coughs> you may draw, you may write big bold words. And I saw Till I Rise an opportunity, opportunity for me to go in because Miss Holder found out that I liked it to write poems and like in my margins of my work and she's like, that's good, you should do it. And that's, I, I was totally shy, I didn't want to do it. And she gave me the courage because she said that one day I could do something to do it. Art is the main thing in my life because, because I like to draw. Now, how long did we, how long did we, Sierra, practice your piece? There's nothing wrong with me. How long did we practice that? When I first heard it. When you first heard it? Oh, goodness. For like two hours, even more, because I, I kept on the quirkiness that I had to do with my glasses and the hair. It took even more hours, more hours on top of that because I didn't get it right. But in the end, it came out perfect. It came out brilliantly, right? It was very avant garde. Oh, I told you all about avant-garde, oh, right? Oh, performance yeah. art? What is it to be an avant-garde performance artist? To just it's what? It's like you're the art. You are right. You're the art. You're the art. Okay, you're the art. Okay, so let me see. Everyone go, I am the art. Let me see. I am the art. I don't know what they said. When we perform See You Again, we use the Tia as our display, as our art. Yes. While we were performing, she was Same. doing like Same what the song actually means. We repeat we 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 make the song saying, um, it's been a long time without you, my friend. No, it's been a long day without the power. I will tell you all about it when we get it again. Mm -hmm. So what is that power? What are you talking about? The power. The right? power. When we remix that song we said it's been a long time without the power. So what what, what does that mean? The power means freedom equal rights. And a good genre in your life mm -hmm. for us to be able to do what we want you know, in life as an individual. So art is very important. Even though I can't draw, I am very artistic. <laughs> but is art just drawing? Art, art is not only drawing. Art is dancing. Anything what? Anything that you can use for anything other than writing. Or writing too. Art, 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 art is not writing, expressive. expressive.
Okay, okay, one at a time. See. Sierra, Sierra, let her finish. <laughs> You you're no, making me everything. Anyway, like um like if a school like pay you to like do something on their school. Commission, that's what it's called a commission. Yeah, yeah. Commission. A commission. Anyway, like if you do like a commission, like you know like if you pass by a school, you'll see like um like like your angel or something like, like Yeah, something like that. Yeah, like maybe like that, maybe like express the thing. Um Adding on to what Sierra said, I want to talk about, well, another type of graffiti. Well, Chris Brown does, does you know how he, he goes to his Instagram and he takes pictures of the graffiti that he does. He also has an album called Graffiti. And he talks, he talks, he talks about um, how he, how he um, uses graffiti to express how he feels about what people say about him because he remember the incident. Okay, so, um, so they can either okay, okay. Or is this my last thing I have to say? Yeah, we need to wrap it up. You know, August is senior. He might be a bad oh, August August senior. August 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 senior. He might be. I don't know. I don't even know. He who might there. be a bad rapper at some point in his life, but he wrote this song called Hip Hop. Hip Hop. Yeah. And in this song, he's expressing black lives. He oh. said, "I'm waiting for the change. Tomorrow's gonna be a better day." Uh-huh. And then oh. see the music video. They all have signs saying hashtag yeah. Black Lives Matter. This song and actually made me cry because. He went from disrespecting people in his song to talking about black lives. It can show how artists could be very powerful and not only be disrespectful. It shows that they have talent and they're using their talent wrongfully, but they can use it powerfully. Yeah. Nicki Minaj has a song called Still I Rise. Mm-hmm. And, in this, yeah. and in this song, he, he, yeah, and in this song, she's talking about how people hate on her and all this other stuff. And then she said, still I rise, still I fight, still I might, still I cry. No, still I fight, still I rise, still I fight, still I might. Crack a smile, take my eyes on the prize. See my haters tell them high. One day I remember that. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of powerful how these artists can actually be powerful, yeah. but they should work on the same time. I'm also talking about all your feelings. Okay, uh, thank you for watching. Right. Thank, you. thank you for watching. Watch, stop. Thank you. So, um, let's see. So, when you think still I rise, I want you to say one word. You look into the camera and you will say, still I rise, loving my people. Still I rise, heading to college. Still I rise. Whatever, whatever, whatever you want to say. So, so what is the last, what is the last word that you would like to leave us with in conclusion about still I rise? How does still, how does still I, how does still I rise live in you? Um, I would say one word would be we're strong. Still I rise, humanistic, humanistic, humanistic. Embarrassment. Humiliation. Let's go. Let's go. Still I rise, changing the world. Still I rise, black lives matter. Still I rise, I'm proud of the world. Still I rise, fighting for freedom. Still, Still I, I rise, rise. justice to change the world. Once Jesus. again, we are the cast of Still I Rise! Justice! <laughs> Okay, stop, stop. Gotta make sure it's saved. Lord.